Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've been playing around with our navbar area, our header here, making transparent navbars and customizing buttons. Today we're going to add a search box to our primary menu here. This will work for any WordPress theme. I happen to be using the Divi theme at the moment. Divi theme is absolutely awesome. <laughs> it keeps getting better and better. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, well let's get started. Here's our little search box that I put in there. So I'll get rid of that and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard, to Divi, to theme options. I'm on the general tab. And this is where our custom CSS box is here. Let's delete this code that I put in for that button. And also, I need to go to my menus and delete the entry for that one there. So let's save these changes. I'll go to my menus. I'll open this in a new tab. Here's the entry I put in for that. So let's remove this. Save the menu. Now when I refresh our page, this should be gone. There we go. So we got a regular header, regular menu right over here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find a search bar so we can steal the code. So I'm going to go to the blog and whatever theme you're using or WordPress you're using, if you just go to your, your blog page, you'll find a search bar there somewhere. Here it is right here. And by default, your default page when you first install WordPress will have one of these on it. Okay, I'm using Google Chrome here with the great Chrome Inspector tools. So I'm just going to right click on this form or search box, which is actually a form. And here it is right here. And you can see form role. And there's the closing tab for the form there. So I want to copy all of this. So I'm going to right click and say edit as HTML. And I'm going to copy from the opening pointy tag there to the closing pointy tag of form. Control C or you can right click and hit copy. Then I'm going to go back to my dashboard and to menus. So we're at dashboard, appearance, menus. And I want to add this item to our actual existing menu here. Now I need to use a custom link to do this. So I'm going to hit custom link. I'm going to put just a hashtag where it says URL because you have to put something in there. And where it says link text, text, I'm going to paste in that code that we just copied. Now it might look a bit strange, but it is actually going to work fine. Let's just add this to the menu. And there it is. That does look a little strange, but that is actually going to work. But what I also want to do is now I've actually got the, the link in place. I want to remove that hashtag so it doesn't do anything. So there's no, nothing happens when somebody clicks on it other than the form's going to work. So I'm happy with that. That's all in there. Let's save our menu. Now let's go back. Let's go back to the home page and our little search box should be there. And there it is, just like that. Now you can leave it just like that. That's absolutely fine. We can end the video here. You've got your search box in there in your menu and everything. But I'd rather like to style this button so it just looks a little more interesting. And again, using the Chrome, we'll use the inspector tools. I'm just going to right click on the little button there, inspect. And here it is, search submit. If we look over here, I've got the elements tab open on this side, so it's showing HTML. I've got styles tab open this side, so it's showing CSS. So search submit, that's the actual submit button. You can tell when you put your mouse over it, it sort of highlights it up there for you. So what do I want to do with this? Well, the first thing I want to do is give it a blue background. Great. 
Uh, next thing I want to do is perhaps make it a little bit bigger. We'll give it some more padding top and bottom just to make it our own. So I'm going to say padding 10 pixels. Don't bother trying to copy this code. I'll put it below the video if I can. I don't think I'll be able to put that form there because of the pointy tags. But I can certainly put the CSS there. Um, yeah, padding 10 pixels. Great. And we want to give it slightly rounded corners. So I'll give it a border radius. Let's say 10 pixels. That gives it those rounded corners. And let's have that search. I want that white. So let's just say under here, color. FFF, or you can just put in white if you want to. There we go. That's pretty much going to do it for me. So what I need to do now, because we've written it into the browser here. Once I hit that refresh button, this is going to revert back to how it was. To make this permanent, I need to copy this and actually put it into our custom CSS, which is Divi theme options, general tab, down at the bottom here, custom CSS. So if I just paste that in there and I'll save our changes, I won't give it a header right now. Now if we go back and refresh, this should stay there. It should be written into the actual theme itself now. There we have it. It's staying there fine. But if I open our blog, what it's going to have done, it would have styled the button on the blog as well. Or any any time that search submit, whatever the title was there, search submit. Anytime there's an idea of that, it's going to do that to it. So if we look down here, it's not done it. It has rounded out those corners. So if you just wanted that to happen on the page that we were on, or just for the menu itself, we can do it just for the menu item itself. So if we look back at the page here, or we could have done it on the other page. I'm going to inspect this one again. And if we look up here, it's actually right here, which is menu item 3513. So if I double click that so I can edit it and copy menu 3513, control C, and it's a class. So we need to put a dot before it. Let's go back to our custom CSS box and I'll paste it in there. Remember I said it's a class, so we have to put a dot or a period before it. There we go. And I'll just put a little gap after it between it and the search submit. Now save this. You won't notice any changes on our main page here. This should look exactly the same. But the CSS we wrote for this coloring and shape will only appear on this menu item here. So if we go to our blog and refresh this, now when we go down, that button's back to normal. So you've got normal buttons everywhere else and you've just got it styled that way for the menu item. That's entirely up to you if you want to do it there. But that is how to add a search box to your primary menu on the Divi theme or any menu on any WordPress site. It should work absolutely fine. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.